Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 52nd commencement exercises of Pat's College of Aeronautics. Yes, indeed, we are proud to say that Pat's is on its 52nd year of making its mark in aviation education. We shall witness the graduation of another batch of globally competitive Patsians who are ready to find their places in the aviation industry. So, without further ado, please help me welcome the presentation of Pat's programs. Now, let's put our hands together for the presentation of the PATS College officials. Leading the line is the new set of PATS Board of Directors composed of Next, are the PATS Executive and Administrative Officers. May I present to you the PATS Program Chairpersons, Department Heads, Last but not the least, the past faculty.
and this year's Yes of Honor and Commencement Speaker, Honorable Senator Juan Edgardo Manalang Angara. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, may I request everyone to put a right palm over a left chest as we pay tribute to our independence through the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. <laughs> Pambansang Awit ng Pilipinas God's blessings through an invocation to be led by Mr. Valentino V. Rana Jr., Pat Student Council President. Please pray with me. Our Father God, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. For this school, which has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into your world. As we prepare to walk across the virtual stage to receive our diplomas, let us walk in prayerful gratitude for the many blessings that have made this moment real and filled with great potential. In gratitude, we pray for our families and the many who have sacrificed and worked to see us at this hopeful moment. In gratitude, we pray for the professors and administrators who have challenged, cared, and crafted us along this academic journey. In gratitude, we pray for fellow students who have taught us more about friendship, collaboration, and sharing. Give us courage to face the challenges of carving out a place in society where we might live in peace, service, and gratitude. Give us strength to resist the temptations of greed, laziness, pride, and envy as we strive to do and be our best. Loving Father, we thank you for your love which has been made evident through the relationships we will carry with us beyond these walls. Gracious and loving God, we ask now for your almighty hand to be upon us as we and our families celebrate this grand milestone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, a pleasant day everyone. And welcome to the 52nd Commencement Exercises of PATS College of Aeronautics. I am Engineer Briggs Von P. Cruz, 
your Master of Ceremony for this day's event. Let us proceed to the awarding of medals and certificates of honor to the serving PAT students. The first group of awardees who shall be called are recognized for their commendable participation in co- and extracurricular activities and will be recipients of the special awards. May call up Ms. Rodessa B. Velasco, College Register, and Dr. Emerita I. Javier, our Vice President for Student Affairs to do was the honors in presenting the awards and awardees. The first special award is the Sterling Wings Award, a level 2 award conferred to the serving graduating students because of their invaluable service to their fellow students. They serve as the wings of their fellow students to carry them to higher horizons of success, bearing with them a sense of leadership worthy of emulation. The recipients of the Sterling Wings Award, Stephanie Jane M. Salorico, Deputy Corps Commander, PATS NSTP ROTC. The last special award is the Platinum Seahorse Award, a level one award conferred to the serving graduating students because of their unblemished department records and their invaluable service to their fellow students as catalysts for the existence of peaceful relations in the academic community and for their participation in extracurricular activities in the school campus. To receive the Platinum Seahorse Award, let us give our applause to Valentino V. Rana Jr., President, Pat's Student Council. Camille Joyce C. Vergara, Vice President, Pat's Student Council. Thank you, Dr. Javier. Moving on to the academic honors. I am privileged to present to you the second group of awardees who shall be conferred the academic honors because of their extensive efforts to attain meritorious academic status. May call on Ms. Ludessa B. Velasco, our college registrar for the criteria of the academic honors, and Engineer Joy Cosme G. Amores Jr., our Vice President for Academic Affairs to do us the honors in presenting the awardees. Students who are candidates for graduation with honors must have completed 100% of the total units required for graduation and must have been in continuous full-time residence for the last three academic years for degree courses and three semesters for the associate programs. The candidate's minimum academic load should be 18 units except in the last semester. Candidates should not have an incomplete, failure due to absences, or withdrawn with permission remarks in the grade sheets. The student must have conducted himself in conformity with the standards, rules, regulations, and policies of the school in his residency. Students from the degree program shall be graduated with honors as follows. Summa cum laude, general weighted average of 1.0 to 1.25 with no grade below 1.5 for management programs and 2.0 for technical programs. The recipient will receive a gold medal. Magna cum laude, general weighted average of 1.26 to 1.5 with no grade below 2.0 for management programs and 2.25 for technical programs. A silver medal will be awarded to the recipient. Cum laude. General weighted average of 1.51 to 1.75, with no grade below 2.25 for management programs and 2.5 for technical programs. The recipient will receive a bronze medal. I am very honored to present to you this year's academic awardee. Lee Yun Hong, BS Aircraft Maintenance Technology, Magna Cum Laude. So, there you are, ladies and gentlemen, our awardees. Thank you, Ms. Velasco and Engineer Amores. We will now proceed to the presentation of candidates and conferment of degrees. May I call on 
Pat's College President and COO, Engineer Jose Eduardo S. Valdez, to do us the honors to present the candidates for the Aircraft Technician course. May I call it the course chairperson, Mr. Mel Albert F. Bunda. May the candidates for the diploma of Aircraft Technician course please stand. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the Diploma of Aircraft Technician course. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the Diploma of Aircraft Technician with all the privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto but subject to the issuance of the special order now pending with the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. Congratulations! For the candidates of the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management, may I call on Mr. John Erickson A. Policarpio, Chairperson. May the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management please stand. Mr. President, it is my honor to present to you the graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management with all the privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto, special order exempt by virtue of the program's Level 3 accreditation by Pakukowa. Congratulations. Now, we shall have the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Aircraft Maintenance Technology. May I call on Engineer Jabez A. Isoli, Chairperson, to present them. May the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Aircraft Maintenance Technology please stand. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Aircraft Maintenance Technology. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Aircraft Maintenance Technology with all the privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto, but subject to the issuance of a special order now pending with the Commission on Higher Education. Congratulations. Our candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Avionics Technology will be presented by the Chairperson, Engineer Jover Boy T. Chan. May the candidate for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Avionics Technology please stand. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Avionics Technology. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Avionics Technology with all the privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto, but subject to the issuance of the special order now pending with the Commission on Higher Education. Congratulations. For the candidates of the Bachelor of Science in Air Transportation, May I call on the chairperson, Engineer Joy Cosme G. Amores Jr. May the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Air Transportation please stand. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Air Transportation.
By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Air Transportation, with all the privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto, but subject to the issuance of the special order now pending with the Commission on Higher Education. Congratulations. For the candidates of the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering, may I call it Engineer Maria Corazon P. Robido, Chairperson. May the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering please stand. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering with all the privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto, but subject to the issuance of the special order now pending with the Commission on Higher Education. Congratulations. And for our candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering, may I call it the chairperson. Engineer Dennis S. De Solo. May the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering please stand. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Directors and upon recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering with all the privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Special order exempt by virtue of the program Level 3 Accreditation by PACOPOA. Congratulations. Thank you, Engineer Valdez and Program Chairperson. Let us now proceed to the individual presentation of graduates. Aircraft Technician Course James Conrad D. Lorete Glendale P. Rodrigo B.S. Tourism Management Justin Claire C. Ramos Abigail Claudine N. Taguiam B.S. Aircraft Maintenance Technology Miguel Nicole S. Arumin Raymond F. Bagasala R.J. D. Balao Rachel Eric E. Balberan Adrian Joseph C. Bato Jan Andre M. Boreros Vince Richard R. Kaluwag Gabriel Joshua M. Carpio Pamela May Q. Concepcion Janil Contemprato Ezekiel Ray A. De Castro Juval Vincent E. Elia Gerard Peter C. Evangelista Johan Gilbert P. Gervasio Timothy John R. Handumon Christian Jerick H. Hernandez Yi Hyun Hong Raymond Sam A. Infante Greg Peter Sid V. Lavarez Garrick Y. Layung 
John Manuel Leong Raj Anthony M. Lontok John Anar B. Magsumbol Andre Jacob T. Mamuya Kirk John Ross M. Mariano Ian Ferley L. Masdo Romart D. Narciso Mohamed Ahmed Mustafa Hazan Osman Roberto S. Pablo Jr. Christer Bon D. Paguyo King Ernest L. Pascual Aldridge S. P. Janu P. Prado John Kirby D. Pua Jerome M. Ramos Toby B. Robinol Carlos Joseph G. Ronquillo John O'Neill L. Rosales Noah D.C. San Pedro Samir T. Sayed John Angelo D. L. Verdera Angelo C. Villanueva Mahamat Sabon Alamin Yaya B.S. Air Transportation Rachel Ann Bacalia Sean Michaels B. Kaninit Ashley Isa M. Nam Ria Leanne S. Paz B.S. Avionics Technology John Phil T. Villegas B.S. Industrial Engineering Ivan J. R. Merchante Matthew B. Reyes B.S. Aeronautical Engineering Oluwasan Gabriel Awokonle Eldrian Mark D. Basig Stephanie Jane M. Celorico Ryle Joshua F. De Asis June Pocholo M. Dulay Sean Carl V. Federigan Ramon Alberto L. Galang III Philip Gabriel A. Galeno Limuel June P. Garlitos John Matthew M. Guansin Virgilio Joselito E. Guevara Mike Timothy R. Guzon Eleazar David A. Magtabog Venjay A. Notarte Stephen Earl Quebec Valentino V. Rana Jr. Charles Nathan O. Samonte Camille Joy C. Vergara Ivory P. Viloria. And now, dear graduates, now that you have been conferred your degrees and granted your diplomas, it is but fitting to spare this moment to thank your parents and guardian for the guidance and love they have given you 
and for all the sacrifices they made to make this day possible. Please stand, face them, and all together say, Marami salamat po. Naaalala ko pa ng isang umaga. Parang kailan lang nang sinabi mo sa akin, Anak, bangon na. Habang ako'y nagkukusot ng mata, nauna ka pang namulat sa araw at ipaghanda ang almasal sa lamesa. Kamusta ang araw mo? Nagustuhan mo ba yung babaon ko sa'yo? Kung baka pinawisan ka, huwag mo hayaang matuyo kaya naglagay ako ng lampin sa likod mo. Kayo yung nakilala kong wala mang sahod pero pinaglilingkuran nyo. Mas nauuna pa kayong masaktan kapag nakita mo ang sugat sa tuhod ko. Siguro nagtataka kayo ba't pinabalik ko ang oras. Gusto kong malaman yung pinakamasarap pa rin ang timpla niyong tsokolate at gatas. Ang lahat ng sakripisyon niyong aking nakita ay walang katumpas. Hayaan niyo pong masayang luha naman ang ibigay ko sa inyo at ako ang magpunas. Aking mga magulang, maraming salamat po. Kulang ang kahit anong bagay sa pangangaral niyo. Kahit na minsan di kayo napagod pawisan para sa pag-aaral ko. Gusto ko pong malaman yung kayo ang dahilan kung bakit hawak ko ngayon ang diplomang ito. In a few minutes, we shall hear the much-awaited message of our commencement speaker. To learn more about him, let us listen to the introduction to be delivered by Attorney Ana Katrina V. Cruz, our Vice President for Administrative Affairs. Let's give her a big round of applause. Good day. It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you the speaker for this year's graduation ceremony. Our guest of honor took up his basic education at Xavier School and finished his undergraduate degree in international relations with honors from the London School of Economics. He finished his law degree at the UP College of Law and earned his Master's of Law degree from the Harvard Law School. From 2004 to 2013, he was a member of the House of Representatives for the Lone District of Aurora, where he was a Deputy Minority Leader from 2004 to 2007, Deputy Majority Leader and Vice Chairman on Committee on Rules from 2007 to 2010, and Chairman on Committee on Higher and Technical Education from 2010 to 2013. As a productive member of the Congress, he had authored more than 60 laws. In fact, he was recognized as one of the most productive congressmen during his nine-year stint as a member of the House of Representatives, representing the province of Aurora, and is proud of having been a part of the province's transformation from a provincial backwater to a growing tourist, agribusiness, and investment destination. He was then elected senator in 2013, and up to present, he has remained dedicated and hardworking in the service of the Filipinos. As former acting chairman of the Committee on Labor, Employment, and Human Resources, he spearheaded the passage of laws to ensure better jobs and working conditions for Filipinos. He also chaired the Committee on Games, Amusement, and Sports during the 16th Congress, where he actively pushed for greater support for Filipino athletes, granting financial incentives and benefits for winning national athletes, including athletes with disabilities. He is also the sponsor of laws establishing sports academies and training centers to hone the skills and raw talent of young athletes from the provinces in order to jumpstart grassroots sports development. Like his parents, he values education as a tool to fight poverty and ensure social mobility. Thus, he has pushed for laws that ensure greater access to education and scholarships for poor and deserving students. Currently, he is the Senate's leading voice in advocating for income tax return to raise the take-home pay for workers 
and to make the tax system a tool for economic progress and social justice. Aside from being a legislator, our guest of honor has also been a practicing lawyer, a law professor, and a column writer. I am honored to introduce our guest for today. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Senator Juan Edgardo M. Angara. Hello po, congratulations to all the graduates of PATS uh, ngayong araw sa lahat ng mga magulang, sa lahat ng inyong instructors kay President Eduardo Valdez. Uh, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Napaka-importante o mahalagang araw ito para sa inyo at mga pamilya. Alam po natin yan. Kaya uh, lubos-lubosin niyo po ang inyong uh, pagligaya, pagiging uh, masaya ngayong araw. It is truly a milestone uh, for all of you. And uh, alam ko uh, kakaiba ang panahon ngayon ng pandemya. Uh, dalawa sa pinaka, uh, pinaka natamaan po ng uh, COVID-19 sa, sa industriya ay ang turismo at ang uh, aviation and aeronautics uh, sa pagkat uh, transportation uh, industry uh, which before the pandemic was uh, one of the world's fastest growing or two of the world's fastest growing industries tourism and, and uh, transport and logistics uh, nevertheless alam natin na babangon din ito uh, hopefully sooner rather than later kaya minamadali po yung pagdating ng bakuna at uh, uh, steady lang po tayo uh, hindi po masasayang yung natutunan nyo ngayon yun ang maasahan po ninyo at uh, babangon din po ang mga industry na yan at uh, lalago din po uh, people will uh, resume normal programming normal life in a few months time it will take longer in some countries but asahan nyo po yan at uh, you will all uh, someday become successful with hard work and with help from God above. So God bless all of you today. Uh, sa inyong mga pamilya, stay safe po. Uh, mabuhay po kayo and congratulations. At this point, may I call on Engineer Jose Eduardo S. Valdez, Pat's College President and COO, to present the Black of Appreciation. Honorable Juan Edgardo M. Angara, Member, House of the Senate, Republic of the Philippines. In sincere and grateful recognition of his distinguished career as a dedicated public servant, having advocated income tax reforms for economic progress and social justice, as Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee for his outstanding contributions to the Committee on Labor, Employment, and Human Resources by passing relevant laws to ensure better jobs and working conditions for Filipinos. For his passionate support for Filipino athletes as former Chairman of Games, Amusement, and Sports during the 16th Congress for being one of the most productive congressmen during his nine-year period as a member of the House of Representatives from 2004 to 2013, and in appreciation of his inspiring words as guest speaker during the commencement exercises of Pat's College of Aeronautics, given at Pat's College of Aeronautics, Lombos Avenue, San Isidro, Paranaque City, signed, Anna Katrina V. Cruz, Vice President for Administrative Affairs, signed, yours truly, College President and COO. Let's all give them both a warm round of applause. Thank you, Engineer Valdez and Senator Angara. The graduates are now ready for their pledge of loyalty to their alma mater. May I call on? Engineer Joy Cosme G. Amores Jr., our Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will lead the pledge. Graduates, please raise your right hand. Graduates, repeat after me. Panunumpa ng katapatan. May pitagan at katapatan akong nanunumpa. 
na ipagtatanggol ko ang karangalan ng titulong aking natamo na nagpapakilala ng walang halong pag-aalinlangan ng katapatan sa bansa at laang paglilingkod sa kalayaan ng sangkatauhan sa pagtanaw ng utang na loob sa kagalingan at sa mataas na pamantayan ng para lang aking pinagtapusan. Kaya tulungan na wa ako ng Diyos. Graduates, let us sing the Pat's Graduation Song. faculty members and staff, all the parents and guests, thank you for being part of this momentous event. To all our graduates, PATS gives you its heartiest good wishes and warmest congratulations for having successfully crossed the first bridge to success. Today is not the end of the trip, but the beginning of another road to pass through to reach the higher goals. 
we firmly believe that you will always live up to the ideals of a true Patsian, no matter where you are. So, see horses. You now have your wings. Use them wisely. And go, fly high. Fly high with Patsian.